All right, tree eagles, what's that then? So it's here, it's now, it's game day. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, fucking in the ball! Eagles, what's happening? Don't know why I'm so happy just to see the back of this season because we've got to go for it all again next season. Oh, sorry, is that me being negative? It looks like we're gonna find ourselves another bridge. And where are we gonna come up with another bridge? There you go, more negative waves. Have a little faith, baby. Have a little faith. It's here, it's now, it's game day. We're away for this one. We're off to Wesley Park. It's the last game of the season. It's Haven and Waterlooville, the Barnet, in the Vanarama National League. So Avengers Endgame came out. And if you don't want to know what happens in the end, turn your volume down now. Ah, I'm joking. You thought I was going to spoil it for you. Harry Potter saves them all and then marries Swamp Thing. But anyway, that's enough of chatting bollocks. Let's get into the football news. So having a Waterlooville currently sit 22nd in the National League, played 45, they've won nine, they've drew 13, they've lost 23, scoring 62, conceding 82, giving them a goal difference of minus 20, and they're currently on 40 points. And they've now been relegated to the National League South. And their last five games have been two draws, three losses. They've not won in their last seven. <laughs> Sean Gale is caretaker manager. That's about as much information I've got on him. He used to play for Barnet as well. <laughs> Number 20, Alfie Rutherford, who has 14 goals, three assists in 34 games. Might be worth a punt. October 2001, an FA Cup fourth round qualifier match. Game ended in a 1-1 with Wayne Purser getting the goal for us. We won the replay 3-0 with Wayne Purser scoring an hat-trick in four minutes. So with that all being said, and for the last time this season, let's get to the ground. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points and then let's get the fuck out of town. No fuck you today. Haven't and Waterlooville being relegated is an insult on its own. But we'll take the three points. So best of luck of next season. Come on, Barnet! Starting 11 for Barnet today in a 3-5-2 formation. Mark Cousins in goal. Your three centre-arse of Elliot Johnson, Captain Cannon Reynolds and Craig Robson. Your five in the middle today. David Zatonda as your left wing back. Shay Alexander's your right wing back. Three centre miss a day of Andre Bucard, Harry Taylor and Jack Taylor. And up front, Shaq Cole first and Jack Barham. And this is how having a Waterlooville line up for today's game. About 17 in, still nil, nil. Very even game, both sides passing around nicely. Hawks had an opportunity, free header went wide. We had a goal to Salad. But Harry Taylor, brilliant tackle, plays to Shaq. Nice little through ball to Jack Taylor. One on one with the keeper, keeper nice and big, done well. Still nil, nil. Other than that, nothing else has happened. About 25 in. Still nil nil. Again, we've put ourselves under so much pressure. Haven't should be one nil up. Cousins plays a short goal kick out to Reynolds, who then passes it back to Cousins, who has a bad tuck, who then gets closed down. Player plays the ball into the box. Guys are marked, but Reynolds recovers well. Went for a corner. Nothing come of it. We're in no danger, and then we put ourselves under pressure. Why? I guess that's what they call curry ball. <laughs> About 10 to the half, still nil nil. Again, a great opportunity from Haven. They've just made a sub. Number 10 has come on. Lovely ball through to him. He literally just nutmeg Craig Robson. See you later. Turn, shot just over the bar. <coughs> nil nil. Less than five to the half. Still nil nil. See you at half time. <laughs> half time here at Wesley Park. And it's having a Waterlooville nil. It's Barnet nil. What a fucking boring half of football this has been. The Hawks have had the better of the opportunities and they should be at least one nil up. A very below par standard of football by us, even though it's a dead rubber for both sides. And since number 10's come on for the Hawks, he's turned Robbo inside out more than George Michael's arsehole has been turned inside and out. 45 minutes left of one of the most embarrassing seasons I've ever witnessed as a Barnet fan. Roll on the second half. Come on, Barnet. Yeah! 
about two minutes into the second half, having a walk Louisville nil, Barnett one. Shaq puts the ball right over to the back post. Shay Alexander unmarked, toe punts it through the keeper's legs. One nil Barnett. Makes a change, that's scoring two minutes into the second half, then we normally concede. 65 into the second half, still leading one nil. Apart from us scoring, nothing else has happened in the second half by either team. Yes! Get in there! And on the 70th minute, it's having a walk Louisville nil, it's Barnett two. Jack Barham, my sponsor. There you go. Jack Taylor plays the ball out to Sim. Sim has a shot deflected, but it lands nicely to Jack, who's unmarked in a box. Just taps it home, 2 0. Nice and comfortable. About 12 to go, we still lead 2 0. Golden opportunity. We're having a Waterlooville here. Robson, under no pressure, fumbles the ball, puts it under pressure. They have an attack, they have a shot all across goal. Anyone getting on that, it's a tap in. Could have been 2 1. You've had a mare today, Snowflake. Five minutes to go of normal time, and you're still leading 2 0. Two good opportunities from both sides. Number 20 for having a walk. Louisville brings down the ball nicely, places it in the back post. He receives it back, it couldn't get towards it to put it in the back of the net. We go down the other end. Mason Clark, lovely little turn, has a shot, keeper pushes it away. And a minute after that, we're still leading 2 0. But number 17 for having a walk Louisville with Scorpion kick. Robbo, you've had a nightmare, mate. You've played him on side every single time. Ball whips in, it's behind him. Scorpion kick. That went in, I would have cheered, but straight down the front of Cousins, and he just held it nicely. Into the 90th, just added on the last four minutes of this season. We're leading 2 0. So the game finished having a Walter Louisville nil, Barnet two. We end the season on a high, but now the hard work has to start. And that starts with the chairman sorting out who is going to be taking us forward. If it's Curry, then I will back him. But one thing that I will say, Mr. Chairman, is don't be rash with your decision in giving Curry the job. No offense here, but no one's going to steal Curry off us. So let's hold off and see who may become available. The football season is still ongoing. I mean, if only you allowed Justin Edinburgh to bring in his backroom stuff when he interviewed for the role and now the guy's just won the league and he's off to league two i mean you must be kicking yourself with that decision right there because we need someone who's not one of the lads enjoy your football of course but football's about results and that's what people are going to remember in years to come not when someone was nice to you or held your hand or wiped your mouth for you and who i wanted as manager at the start of last season before we appointed still is still available Darrell mcmahon is still looking for a job so please forgive me if i sound like a miserable cunt but you've got to understand what a season that we've witnessed i turned down the chance to be the manager of a semi-pro side before this season started because I had unfinished business watching Barnet and I wanted to see us back in the football league. I didn't want to jump ship like a rat. And then a month before the football season started, my dad passed away and I almost turned my back on football altogether. And I'm not doing this for attention, but all of your kind words helped me through that. So I carried on doing these vlogs just for you. So that's why it's so important that we must get it right next season. Because we dropped far too many points against teams we shouldn't have this season. So that's that for another season. The 9th of May are the vlogging awards and I'm going up to Manchester at the Etihad. I spent over £100 on my hotel and train ticket just to watch me lose. So it's pretty much like watching Barnet. No point in breaking the habit, I guess. So enjoy your summer, everyone. I'm going off to America to see Tom. I'll see you all next season. You know what to do. Ta-la. Get fucked.